So how does Windows 10 look on tablets? We have our Surface Pro 3 here, and we're actually gonna put this in tablet mode because you can do that because the Surface Pro 3 is a tablet. So the easiest way is to detach your keyboard, and you get that prompt, which you can set to always ask you to put it in tablet mode, and voila, that is tablet mode. So the first thing you notice is that your start screen has, a, or your start button has expanded out, and you now have this kind of like start screen all around. Now, um, you know, the whole thing there, you can see all your different applications that are on your start menu, but if you tap on the top left-hand corner, it gives you everything that's on your start button there. So from your file explorer, settings, power, and all that fun stuff. That of course is your Windows button to cycle through different application. You can also look at your application list, and that's of course the power button. Now that's your back button. That is of course Cortana. And um, that is the next button there is your um, task view, if you will. Now, the one thing you notice is that at the bottom there, there's really nothing. All those icons I had that were pinned there, they kind of disappeared. Now you can also go in the uh, action notification center to actually uh, switch between tablet mode if you choose to and all the different quick settings there. But as I mentioned, all those icons that I had that were pinned to my taskbar disappeared, but you can still bring that back. Uh, which is a good thing and I wish you actually was the other uh, uh, on the get-go So if you just right click or press down, you'll be able to actually bring that back up uh, All those uh, applications are pinned You can also show notifications and you can have it looking similar to what was in your desktop So which means I can quickly access applications. I use all the time like, you know, Chrome for instance here or I can open up a um, uh, you know, Windows Media Player, I can multitask by basically dragging from the top and that will split it into two screens. Even if I open up more applications, uh, for instance, like PowerPoint, that will jump into the other screen area. And if I open up another application again, uh, or go back to the original one, then I can now decide how I want to multitask. It's a fluid process and it works well. Uh, it's one of the things where it can be a little jarring when you switch into tablet mode because uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily flow the same way, but it works well. It, it's something that you just have to take some time to, to look at and it'll be easy to use. You can see using the task view, I can go ahead and close out any applications that are available. So even if I don't know what's open, if I hit the task view, I can see what applications I have running. That's why that's there. And um, But you can't do multiple desktops here in, in this mode. So um, again, just showing you what I can do in terms of the applications I can open and how I can pair them left and right. So it functions well. Um, and you know it, it's something that I think a lot of people will find useful in just use case scenario. But this is on a 13.3 inch device. Now, how does it look and feel when you're using something that's say seven inches, like the HP Stream 7? This is what your it looks like. This is tablet mode. You can see there. You can still pin all the applications you were running on there. Now with this, I can also go into full Windows mode too if I choose to. So um, it's not something that's also you're just limited to just being in tablet mode um so you know that's something you can do well so let me go ahead switch to from tablet mode to uh windows mode and um let's go ahead and just close out some of the applications that are blown open here and you should be able to see that i have a full desktop look again so i can i can switch between either of the two even on a seven inch tablet again that's something that they, they give you and, and and allow you to actually do with uh windows 10. so it's interesting. Um, I would say maybe it needs some more work uh, just so that people might have a better way of understanding and using it. But I like it. I think it works well, uh, especially for what you're doing on a tablet and the pro productivity functions there. But I do like the fact that, again, like I can pin all my most used applications there on the task menu, which is nice. The one thing I would like is, is if there was at least um, uh, a live tile that said desktop so that I can actually go view my desktop much more easily, easily rather than going into file manager to, to do that. So that's one thing I wish I, I uh, was there. So right there in the, in the center, but easy to quickly just snap your keyboard back and switch back to desktop mode. So any questions, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.